This is a review of the Bowflex Max Trainer M5. I'm not affiliated with Bowflex in any way. I had just done a bunch of research to figure out if it was a good machine or not. So this review is to kind of cover things a little bit more comprehensively just so you have a realistic picture of what you'll be getting when you purchase this. Starting with what you get out of the box. There comes in two boxes together. I think they weigh around 150 pounds. They're not too bad to move around. You obviously need to assemble this when you get it. Uh, you get the instructions in English and Spanish, I believe. They're quite easy to follow. It took me about an hour to put it together. Overall, I would say it seems very sturdy. That was one of my concerns is that it would feel somewhat flimsy, but as I move around on it, it doesn't move at all. And all of the construction seems fairly solid. A couple of small things to point out about this machine. It does come with the chest strap heart rate monitor. It works okay. I tried it out a couple times. It seems to get the reading sort of on and off. Again, it's not exactly what you're paying for with this machine. The heart rate monitor right here on the machine works just as well as any equipment in the gym. It's got a small plug. The wheels are quite helpful for moving this thing around. It's fairly easy to tip forward and move around. A lot easier than other equipment I've owned. The fan here outputs air as you get going on it. Um, I believe it has something to do with the resistance of the machine. I don't know that for sure. One thing I did note is that in many of the reviews, people mentioned a squeak after maybe a week or two of use. I have noticed that these do end up squeaking after a little bit. You could not certainly put some type of lubricant on there. I haven't had to yet because typically when you run on the machine for about a minute or two, it seems to stop once it gets warmed up. The foot pads, nice and strong. Other features to point out. The handlebars up here, also again, very solid construction. I really like the arch here so you can be pushing down, working your triceps, or you can be working your shoulders and lats up here. Definitely much different. I've owned ellipticals and treadmills. This feels like a mix between a stair stepper and an elliptical and actually you'll almost feel like you're biking in a way with the circular motion. Feels really good. Someone actually mentioned in the review it feels like you're charging up a hill. I think that's probably the most accurate description of it. A couple other things here. Not sure if you can see this well, but the cup holder area is nice and big. I like that because I do have a larger water bottle of 40 ounce and it does fit in there quite nicely. You've got a holder for a tablet or a book or something. You've got a holder for other things like the phone, mp3 player, whatever it might be. Overall I would say the Max Trainer is well built. I'd liken it to a um, a piece of equipment at the gym does have that stronger feel. I've owned other pieces of home equipment that have felt sort of flimsy and lighter. But as you can see, it does not have a large footprint, which I appreciate about that. I have a smaller office here. You may have noticed I did build a custom desk that extends out right between the handlebars. Anyways, the purpose of that is so I can do a bit of work as I'm walking slower on this. You can actually work from this tiny bit harder, but eventually you get the motion down. That's obviously nothing that comes with the product, that's just something I custom built around that. I'm going to take a closer look at the controls here. Like I mentioned before, you have the contact heart rate sensors. They work pretty well. I'm not going to go over all of these in detail, but just a quick summary of them. You've got your programs which includes, I believe, eight, and you can customize some of those as well. User information is nice. You can enter two users in here, myself, my wife, and that information is saved each time you get on, and it can also sync via Bluetooth to the app that they provide on both iOS and Android devices. I have not used it. Haven't, you know, read some reviews on it. Some people had some issues, but I assume in time they'll work those out. A couple other things. The resistance level, this truly is the part that will keep you from plateauing. This thing does have a pretty high level of resistance, I believe up to 16 levels, and it is gets pretty hard <laughs> very quickly. All the reviews that you're going to read online is that this thing will 
really work you out hard and that's very true. So the most important thing is the one that they advertise over and over is the max interval with the whole 14 minute workout. Some people wonder if that's true. I will tell you that you definitely can get a workout in 14 minutes on this, but it's going to push you really hard. If you want to burn that two and a half times the amount of calories, it will really uh, do a number on you. It's a good thing if you want the workout, but some people complain that the controls were hard to use or to get started. I didn't think that was the case. All you need to do is just step on and the display pops on immediately. And all you need to get going is you can just go ahead and hit the start button and you can just get going on it immediately. You can increase and decrease your resistance level. And it will tell you in general where you should be targeting. This is the display of the M5. This is definitely what makes it more unique and enjoyable to use in other equipment that I've used in the past. There is something truly about the tachometer that makes you really want to push harder. You have your target zone that changes depending on how you change your burn rate, resistance levels, it, it automatically all adjusts as you switch the controls. This is the highest point uh, burn rate that you've reached during your current workout. So it always kind of makes you want to push and raise the bar and go a little higher than you did before. Calories burned during this workout, definitely a fun thing to watch. Total time in the workout, this is where the total time remaining would be. This shows you which user you currently have selected. Now I'll show you what the motion looks like when you're on the machine. Again, it is a really good workout. I read some reviews where people didn't like it. I'm not sure what they were talking about or they said it felt unnatural. I haven't experienced any of that. It feels very natural, more so than an elliptical and for sure a stair stepper. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like when you're on it. So overall, I'm very happy with the machine. Really what I was looking for was something that would give me a good cardiovascular workout mixed in with a bit of strength. My knees typically hurt while running. I can't go over a mile before it starts to hurt. I can go on this thing until I'm absolutely tired and my knees have not hurt me once. So I will say that all of those reviews about it not hurting the knees are definitely true. So I've owned this for two months now at the time of this review. Been very happy with it. It did exactly what I was hoping it would do, which would increase my endurance and conditioning. And of course, help me lose some extra body fat. I would definitely recommend it. I think it is worth the price. Anyways, that's my summary. Hopefully it was helpful to someone. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching.